All right, everyone, welcome back. This is a drive along. I'm headed to um, I'm headed to the food bank. I'm gonna leave a little early because I went in the mornings. I go to the local high school. That's where the food bank is. It's only today. So I went to the local high school and uh, to pick up the breakfast for the kids because that's their school lunch program that or breakfast school food program that they're going on. Well, today's Friday or Friday, May 1st. So today is Friday, May 1st. And uh, it's about 8 o'clock. So I just went to high school, picked up the breakfast, came back, disinfected everything. Now I'm leaving to go to the food bank. And the reason why I'm going to the food bank is because the... Um, no, sorry for the bright sun here. Let me see if that helps a little bit. Uh, because when I went to go pick up the school uh, breakfast at the high school, there was already a line of two cars. So I want to make sure I get some food. And let's see what it's like to go to the food bank during a pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. So that's why um, I'm doing this here. So I am wearing a face covering. I'm wearing I'm wearing my buff, basically. So I'm wearing my let me see. I'm wearing a buff over the face, and then my N95 mask, and then wrapping the N95 mask with the buff again. I'm pulling the buff over the N95 mask. I have a, over that I have a surgical mask to protect and I, this is the whole point of doing this is to protect my N95 mask because I'm reusing it so I don't want to waste uh, my PPE gear especially when it comes to N95 mask those are like those are like up there with toilet paper <laughs> you know <laughs> it's a it's a high valuable commodity right now N95 mask and then the surgical mask does help a little bit what it does do is if there's any um fogging or steam or excess uh, breath that comes out of the mask which I don't usually have that problem but sometimes you build up a lot of heat and when you wear like protective eye lens or goggles or whatever it fogs it up I'm wearing I'm wearing protective uh, safety glasses but it's just something to cover my eyes it's it's also like a sunglasses a pseudo pseudo sunglasses so it's it's a pseudo sunglasses and uh I'm using that to protect my eyes. So they're not fully sealed, but uh it does help. It does help. And uh, I usually don't get any fogging because the surgical mask covers all the way up to I, I I pull it all the way up to the nose, to the bridge of the nose, almost right underneath the eyes. And then I put my glasses over that, and that protects any heat or fogging of the lens. So I could, I could do this all day. And then finally, I put a buff over the whole, whole thing. I wear a hat. I also put a buff, uh, a barf. I put a buff over my, uh, my head, as well, and then put the hat on. And the reason why I put a buff over the face first is because it it adds another small little layer where the N95 mask doesn't dig into the skin. Because if you wear an N95 mask with the elastic straps put on, I mean you you'll start getting that the marks in your skin and uh you'll get bruising. So so I've been wearing this since uh uh, seven. I, I put this on at seven. Seven, seven and fifteen, seven a.m. in the morning. I go to the local high school by seven thirty. I haven't taken it off yet. Wearing it this way is very comfortable for me. It adds a little compression to the uh, to the face mask to the face. The N95 uh, filter respirator. It adds compression to the face. And then the other buff material really uh, 
uh, filters and also prevents you know your uh, your breath from uh, from spreading so if I am asymptomatic which I'm probably I don't think I am but uh, because I haven't been out of the house all that much oh I gotta I gotta move lanes because uh, I forgot about this I'm going to move lanes over. They're doing construction work here. Hopefully they'll be done soon where I can ride the bike. Although I'm, when I ride the bike, I ride the bike in the road. So right now it's about 8, 8 o'clock, 8 09, 8 10 maybe. I'm headed back. I'm going to go ahead and wait in line because they start around 9 o'clock or 9 30. So uh, this pro there was already a line of two cars. I have a feeling there's going to be a line. Anyways, I want to just get there early as I can. I don't want to be there with so many people going through and possibly exposing the people who work at the food bank. So I don't really want that. And um, I got more than two-thirds of gas. I'm trying not to also go to the gas station that much, but maybe after this I'll go get some gas as well. Put some gas in the fuel tank because uh, gas is cheap right now. Gas is cheap. Uh, I saw price 159 Gas is going for 159 which is amazing, by the way. Amazing. Too bad no one's driving all that much, but since the gas is so cheap, I'm just, most of the time I, in the morning I drive to the school to get the breakfast. But during the afternoons, when the weather is like really nice, it's, uh, I ride my bike just to get out of the house. That's been the best. I did fix the Red Mini. I had a problem with the controller. I had an extra controller because when I first got it, Something was wrong with the controller. The lights weren't working, and uh, the the front headlight wasn't working. And they gave me new wires. They gave me new everything. And then we just assumed that it was the controller, and they gave me a control a new controller. I never installed it because the existing one worked until now. And then I just replaced the uh, controller now, and basically I got a new controller and new bike on that. Feels like a new bike. I tested it yesterday. Made a video about it. I probably did. It's probably in the pipe work. All right, here we go. So I'm headed to the food bank to get some food. We're gonna do a drive along. We're gonna see what it's like to. Uh, we're gonna see what it's like to uh, do some pandemic food banking. I think it's the first one that's on the right side of the high school. Let's see, is there already a line? There may be already a line. Oh, not, not much of a line. Not much of a line. Yeah, there is a line already. Let's see how it, how it looks. Okay, all right. Unmarked police car, patrol car. Uh. Hey, good morning. Are you volunteering? No, picking I'm picking up. Go to the right. To the right. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Looks like they opened up the line. It's only 813. He said follow all the way around. So following all the way around.
Okay, let me see. There possibly is a line. We'll see when we get there. Looks like they got two lines. One on the left, one on the right. So I'm going the way, I'm going all the way around. And see there's already a line. There's already uh, let me see, geez. I don't know how many cars there would be. Alright, so there's two sets of lines, one and two, and looks like they got, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hi. How you doing? Fine, and you? Uh, I look like you're on your telephone and stuff, so please pay attention, sir. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay. okay. Well, I'm not on my telephone. I am on the camera. Anyway, so let's see how many cars. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's probably 20, I would say about 20 to 30 cars here right now. And I have, I'm going to turn the car off. Hopefully the batteries are still going. Batteries, I don't know if they're going or not, but anyways, um, there's probably 20 to 30 cars. I'm at the end of the line. It is, uh, what time is it? It's probably 8, 8.15. And so, uh, so it's 8.15 and, uh. I still got 45 minutes to go before they open. So when I came here this morning, when I came here this morning, there was three cars at the front. They didn't open yet. Now they're opening to let the line go through and we're waiting. And if you see the food bank is all the way to the left over there. And they got people volunteering. They're, they got tables. They have some tables over there and everyone's wearing masks and probably some gloves. I see, I see everyone wearing a mask and they're getting the, they're getting set up. They got the tables, they got boxes of food. So looks like uh, food is a big ticket item. Food is probably the most important thing than toilet paper. If I had to rank it, it would probably be food on top. Toilet paper, <laughs> that's a joke. You know, there was a big mad dash for toilet paper. But yeah, if I had to rank the the most valuable commodity, I would have to say it would be food, toilet paper, gun, and then ammo, <laughs> you know, in that, in that kind of order. I put the gun first because what good is your ammo if you don't have a gun? You would get the gun first, right? And then you'd be looking for ammo. But then what good is your gun if you don't have ammo? So uh, a lot of a lot of police presence. There are uh, Fort Bend ISD police. I don't know what the difference is between sheriff. Well, the city police and then the Fort Bend ISD police are different things. I think the Fort Bend ISD police, they patrol the police. Or they patrol the schools, I think. There's probably, there's, well, I saw two unmarked cars, and then I see one, one marked car there, or two other marked cars up in the front. So, good police presence here at the food bank. They probably don't want people, like, getting all rowdy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pause it until we get moving, and then I'll cut back in. 